Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I want to talk about getting your information out of Evernote and moving that into Obsidian and doing it in a uh, an efficient way, a, you know, an easy way, something that's not really complicated. Now there is no automation that is there, at least not that I could find that's pretty simple to implement, but this particular process is fairly easy depending on how many notebooks you're going to have. So in the Evernote world, all your information goes into a notebook. And depending on how you've carved this up, they have not provided a way to export your information from multiple notebooks at one go. So if you want to do a bulk export from multiple notebooks, you are not able to do that today. But you can easily just right click on a notebook, uh, go down to export notebook, and this pre presents you with options to get your information out. Now, if you want to move it over into Obsidian, which is the kind of the goal of this video, just keep it on the native format there, the ENEX format there, and then just select or deselect the options here at the bottom that you may want or not want um, to, to get migrated. Now, you will see down here at the bottom, there is a, you know, within gray, it says split file by size type. And this says if it's over, um, what is it, from 300 to 2,000 megs here, um, they will probably force you to actually start splitting the file up into smaller chunks so that uh, it's a bit more manageable. But when they do export these, they do export with the notebook name, so it's easy to identify the actual file once you export it. So we're going to go ahead and do an export here on this one here. We're going to choose to put it here in this exporter folder on my desktop. And it will just go through the different files and um, put it in this native format. And when it's done here, we'll just go ahead and uh, take a look at what's next. All right, so it's done. It's pretty quick on this one here. but if we look at the actual notebook here it's only 55 notes in here so not a lot especially compared to like I have another one here that has 2800 notes in it so depending on the size of it of your your actual notebook will determine how long it takes to do the export now this file has been exported over in here and we can see this single file you may have multiple files depending on Again, the size of your notebook. But once we have this down, we can go ahead into Obsidian. And now all we have to do in Obsidian is, you guessed it, yes, install a plugin to give us the functionality that we need. So if we come to the community plugins, you go into browse and you browse for importer. I already have it installed and enabled here. You will just click on this and install it and you enable it. There's no configurations that you need to do here. You just install it and enable it. Fairly easy. We will come out and then we have an icon here to open importer on the side. Or you can do a command pre, uh, P and type in importer and you can open it from here. Either one gets you to the same place. We click on it and we can see the uh, import data into Obsidian. Once we're here, we need to just choose the file format and we'll choose the Evernote format here because this is what we exported the file in. And then on the files to import, we will come over here and we will choose the actual files that we want to import. So we'll go here, we'll select that. And then if you want to change the name of the actual folder that will be created in the vault that you're importing this into, then you can do so right here. Um, if not, just leave it at the default. That way you at least know that what was imported from Evernote. Uh, this is pretty easy to identify once you take a look in your vault. We'll go ahead and do an import. It gives us some metrics and some numbers here on the import and the status. It is done and we had no 
no attachments and there's nothing remaining nothing was skipped and nothing failed here but if anything did you will see that information here so this is this is nice to have we'll go ahead and click done we'll go into the vault we can see the folder right there and if we click into that folder we can see that bang and box which is the same name of the notebook that we have over in Evernote if we go into here we'll see all the files and you'll also see a resource folder an underscore resources folder which will have all the the images and things like that there in it if we come to just to check out one of the files here this one here I know has an image in it so it makes it easy for, for you to see that images will come over with the um, with this um, uh, export import process you'll also get your tags that will come over you can see we have emojis most things are supported but depending on what you're using over in Evernote they, they may have some formatting some things where they're using some different formatting that might not convert that well into obsidian and markdown but this, from what I've seen there this is pretty good everything kind of comes over um, I've not had many issues with the export and import process from the time that I've been using it so um, you definitely want to just test it out make sure everything comes over that you think you will need now again you can use this either as a migration tool where you're migrating from Evernote into Obsidian and then you will just kind of not use Evernote um, again or you can use it as an actual backup process because all of your stuff is in the cloud and if you don't want to just have it in that native format and you want to go ahead and get it converted you can take that extra step um, once a week once a day once a month however you want to do it uh, export all of your notebooks and then import them into a tool like obsidian um, or just have those those e e n e x files stored somewhere in the folder where they get backed up and if you ever do need to uh, do a restore of it you at least have those files available and you'll have this process that you can do in order to see your data okay well if you found value from this video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and until the next time have a nice day